Hello everyone! Today's video is going to be Beauty and the Beast inspired again and I'm going to do the glass dome with the rose inside and I've actually planned to do this for weeks I guess. I think in the beginning of February I wanted to do that but I just kind of never did. And then I saw this one on sale for 8 euros and I was like, yep, I'm buying that, I'm doing that. And this one comes with lights and I actually was thinking about just getting a glass dome without a bottom because in the movie it doesn't have a bottom piece, but with the bottom piece it's actually easier to like, I don't know just not making all the wire and stuff like the batteries for the lights that noticeable because it's actually stuck underneath you will see that when I get this thing out so today I'm going to do that and I'm going to do that as a time-lapse and maybe a little bit of voiceover so see you later To paint the details on the glass, I actually mixed some white acrylic paint with glue, like Mod Podge. And this was just to make it less opaque, because I didn't want them to be like pure white, but like kind of a little bit translucent. I don't know if it worked that well, because they are pretty white, but... In certain spots they are actually not as opaque as they would have been if I just had used white acrylic paint.
So while I was transferring some clips, I just glued these like green bits onto the rose so that the plastic inside wasn't showing since I did cut off quite a bit of petals because it was just looking way too big for the size of the dome. And I also glued the stem to the board. I was actually thinking about gluing a little teeny tiny thread inside the rose and then gluing it like on top of the dome from the inside so that it would be hanging by a thread. Yeah, then it would be hanging by the thread and would like look like it was levitating but to be honest I'm going to put the petals that like the fallen already fallen petals like about like so on the bottom so you don't even really see that so I was like that's easier so let's just glue it to the bottom and I also threaded the lights the lights down here and I didn't paint the bottom because you won't see it anyway so I didn't even bother painting it and now I'm just going to put the wire around the rose and put some batteries in it and basically assemble everything since the dome is pretty much done I'm just going to clean it inside because you can see all the nasty fingerprints on this so I don't know how I'm going to do the cleaning outside I'm probably just going to try and wipe off the top I also didn't do these like swir swirly thingies on the top because in the animated movie the glass dome actually has some coming from the bottom and other ones coming from the top but the shape of the glass dome in the like real life movie not the animated one has this top piece on the dome like this is just flat and the movie has like some crystals or whatever on top which I think makes it look quite good with the swirls coming from top, but if it's just like this, I think it would look stupid having them come from the top too, so I just did them on the bottom, which was a pain in the butt, to be honest. So that's basically just done. I just need to clean it up inside so that you don't see the nasty fingerprints from holding it while I was painting. And then I'm going to assemble everything and just see how it looks. basically just noticed that some of the wire from the lights is covered in like rubber kind of thing like you see me like demonstrating which part is covered in like rubber or something and which part is actually just like wire with lights so I ended up threading all this rubber kind of coated wire back through the hole to the other side so it's actually easier to take out the batteries whenever I want without really pulling on the wire that is around the rose and I just thought it would look better that way. Mm -hmm. 